Hello friends, this video on fractions and decimals part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will learn about another important concept which is reducing to fractions to lowest form. That means reducing fractions to lowest forms. We have learned about equivalent fractions, right? And equivalent fractions and these lowest form of fractions, they are kind of uh, connected. So look at these examples. Let's say you have 1 by 2, 4 by 8, 20 by 40, 15 by 30, 3 by 6. Now these are all examples of equivalent fractions because each one of them represent the same number. Now for certain fraction, fractions, they can be reduced to a lower form but for certain fractions they cannot be further reduced. Now here in the out of these examples which I have shown only 1 by 2 is the one which is at its lowest form. Everything else can be reduced to its lowest form. So how do we reduce a fraction to its lowest form? So let's let's have a look. So let's look at 4 by 8. So what we do with 4 by 8? Now this is possible only when there is a common factor between these numerator and the denominator except 1. So by now you understand what is a common factor, right? For example, if you talk about 4, what are the factors of 4? 1, 2, 4. So factors are basically divisors, those number which exactly divides 4. So 1, 2 and 4 are the factors of 4. What are the factors of 8? 1, 2, 4, 8. These are the factors of 8. So you see there are common factors between 4 and 8 except 1. Because 1 is a common factor between any two numbers. So between you take any two numbers, so 1 will always be a common factor. So besides 1, if it has more common factors, only then that particular fraction can be reduced to a lowest form. So in this case, we have 2 as a common factor, we also have 4 as a common factor. So we find out the HCF, that is highest common factor, which is the highest common factor? 4. Right? So the highest common factor is 4. Now what do we do? So what we do is, we divide the numerator and the denominator by 4. So we divide the numerator by 4. We also divide the denominator by 4. So 4 divided by 4. What is 4 divided by 4? Yes, it is 1. And what is 8 divided by 4? That is 2. So 4 by 8 is reduced to 1 by 2. Now do you think that 1 by 2 can be reduced to any further lowest form? Let us try to check. So 4 by 8 is done. Let us try to check if 1 by 2 can be reduced further to a lowest form. Now what are the factors of 1? It is 1. And what are the factors of 2? 1 and 2. So basically when you look at it, they have only one common factor and that is 1. So other than 1, they do not have any common factor. Therefore they cannot be reduced further. So this is in its lowest form. So 1 by 2 is in its lowest form. So let us pick up some other example from here. Let's say 15 by 30. So let's write the common factors of 15. So it is 1, 3, 5 and 15. Similarly, let's write the common factors of 30. It would be 1, 2, 5, 6, 15 and 30. Now you have learned about factors, HCF, LCM, all these things in class 6. So in case you have forgotten, please refer the videos on HCF and LCM of class 6. It is the, the chapter on playing with numbers. So here which is the highest common factor? So the highest common factor here is 15. So what are we going to do? We are going to divide the numerator and the denominator by 15. So 15 divided by 15 is 1 and 30 divided by 15 is 2. So again this is also 
by reduced to its lowest form so this is how we reduce fractions to its lowest form so normally what happens is uh, whenever you have a fraction which is an equivalent fraction of some other fraction so it can be reduced to that lowest form of fraction for example here 1 by 2 4 by 8 15 by 30 these are all equivalent fractions because they basically mean the same thing they all actually refer to 1 by 2 but we can reduce 4 by 8 to 1 by 2. We can reduce 15 by 30 to 1 by 2. Similarly, we can reduce 3 by 6 also to 1 by 2. Try it out yourself. You can even reduce 20 by 40 to 1 by 2. So you can try these exercises yourself so that you, know, you get a hold of it. So this is how we reduce fractions to their lowest forms. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.